Hey guys, we are back with some more Pokemon trading card game, and today we finally got, I guess not we, but I finally got my packs that I ordered um, from the new Phantom Forces set, um, the, the, the virtual packs, that is, not the, the physical packs, but with the physical packs, I took all those codes out and I opened them on my Google Plus uh, stream that we do on Wednesdays. So um, these are the cards. You know, I already got some pretty cool cards, um, like the Full Art Gengar and the Gengar EX. Um, but we we did open a few packs already, probably around 50 or so. Um, and now we are here, and we're gonna do another virtual pack opening because we need to get more cards from the Fant Forces. And I finally got my 200 packs worth of cards that I bought off eBay. So we are gonna just start opening these and hopefully get some pretty cool cards. Maybe some mega, maybe maybe some megas, maybe some um, EXs, maybe just some um, lampents altogether. So, without further ado, we will open the first pack and we'll see what we get. Oh, first pack we get a Florgus EX. Um, this is probably the worst EX um, known to man, but we got it. This is the first one I actually ever pulled. This deck is 20 damage times number of grass and energy or grass and fairy type Pokemon you haven't played. But, um, yeah. We're just gonna start opening these, and I'm not gonna spend too much time on reading the cards, because I already kinda went over them all in the, you know, the set review that I did. We got a Pyroar, very nice. Very nice indeed. Um, but yeah, like I said, we're not gonna go over every single card that we get. Uh, but there's a Crobat, I already got three of those already. I, I do got three of them now, so that's cool. Uh, maybe we'll make a Crobat deck. Actually, I'm really excited to make a Crobat deck. Um, <laughs> why wouldn't you be? Chandelure, always want those guys because I'm going to make a Super Cradley deck, hopefully. Or maybe just a Chandelure deck. I don't even know. Um, one of the two. One of the two. Whatever works better. And then we got a Freligator, Gengar Spirit Link. Very nice. Um, Loudred. Ooh, there's a Lampent. I'm actually looking for these to get the Night March attack going. Um, and I did not actually review the Night March attack, but stay tuned for the Nar Night March deck because we are going to do that, and it's going to be awesome. So it looks like we did get a Hydreigon and a Manectric EX, very nice. Um, it's not the full art, but that's okay because we don't need the full art. Um, the non-full art is just fine for me. Um, and I am definitely going to make a Manectric EX. And there's another Lampin, so awesome. We got all our Lampin that we need. And two Gengar Spirit Link and a Target Whistle. Very cool, very cool. Okay, so, ooh, that's my first, uh, I, yeah, this is my first head ringer I got, the Team Flare Trainer card. Very cool. Um, the attacks of this Pokemon this card is attached to is one color that's energy more, and you attach that to your opponent's Pokemon. Ooh, a Malamar EX. I say ooh a lot, but that's okay, because Malamar is awesome. Um, that's my second one of those, too. Very nice. I'm getting a lot of pulls right now. I've only opened, like, what, 17 packs already? Pretty nice, pretty nice. Okay, so, uh, Manectric Spirit Link, and looks like that's all in that pack. Ooh, Mega Manectric EX. I got three of these guys already, so that's cool. That is cool. Enhanced Hammer is now back, so we got one of those too. Oh, man. Okay, nothing in that one. VH Seeker, or VS Seeker. Hand Scope, very nice. And another Chandelure, very nice, very nice. Okay. Loudred, no, that's an Explode. Explode is pretty cool with the two energy attack. That's 20 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. Um, Pyroar, very nice. Ooh, what is this? Dialga EX. I don't even remember seeing this card. It's like pure white. That is cool. That is cool. I don't, I don't remember ever seeing this guy like this before. Um, but I do remember the Dialga EX. But not that art. Is that a weird art or is that just me? I don't even know. I don't even know, but I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> okay, we've got the Crobat and uh, Battle Compressor. Very nice. Battle Compressor is always nice to have. Especially with the Night March. I'm getting so many Lampins right now. Like, I didn't even need these. But, like, I needed these so much before, but now I'm just getting them like crazy. Um, we did get a Dimensional Valley in that last pack. Another Bronzong. Very nice. Those are always nice to have because they're super cool. Ooh, we got the Full Art Malamar EX. Very nice. Hyper Hypnosis. Nice. Actually, I think this card is going to be pretty cool. Um, but, I don't know. It might not be. But it could be. I mean, it puts the uh, defending Pokemon to sleep. Substitute. We got the uh, Patritsu. Another Mystery Energy. How many of these do I have? Six already. Wow. <laughs> okay. Um, so, it looks like we got a Lysamer's Trump card. We pulled that one a number of times already. Another Pyroar here. 
Very nice, very nice. A pumpkaboo. And then no Ooh, there's the shiny Mega Manectric. Very, very nice. <laughs> That's actually the first shiny I've pulled from the Phantom Forces. So there we go, shiny Mega Manectric EX. Very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Hopefully we can get some Gengar though. I kinda want more Gengar because Gengar EX are pretty cool. And we got an Angus Slash EX. Prevent all damage on this Pokemon from each of your opponents. Pokemon that has any special energy attached to it. Pretty cool. Bronzong. Kingler. Kingler's not that great, but you know what? That's cool. That's cool. So we got a Golbat. Oh man. I'm just excited to make some decks with this set. Um, jamming Net. Here we go. Trainer. Uh, Team Flare Trainer. Pokemon Tool. Attached to your opponent's Pokemon. Very nice. <laughs> okay, so... Substitute. Robo Substitute. Whatever that means. Um, Levaney. Uh, what else do we got? <laughs> a lot of Joltik. We're getting a lot of these. Um, with the Night March attack. Very cool. Night March is going to be one of the, one of my favorite attacks in the set, probably. Uh, maybe maybe not, but it's, it's pretty gosh darn good. Okay, so we're approaching 50 packs already that we've opened. Um, Bronzong yet again. Very nice. I'm getting a lot of Bronzong now. and I'm, Wow, another, another Bronzong. That's fine with me. So there's our 50th pack we opened. Exploud. And another Crobat. We're getting so many Crobats. I'll take it, though. I'll take it. Um, hopefully we can get... What else do I need? I don't really need anything. Well, I guess Gengar are the only thing I really need at this point. Um, <laughs> maybe some Manitrek. I don't even know. Um, but we're getting a lot of double colors energy. We're getting a lot of things we don't really need at this point. Dimension Valley. I have ten of those already. Holy butts. Holy butts indeed. Um, and there's a Goliath. Or a Giggolith. Don't even ask me. <sighs> Spiritome. AZ. Um, Venonat, Golbat, Dimension Valley. I'm just getting the same cards over and over again. There's another full art Malamar EX. Very, very cool. And that's all I got. That's all I got. That's all I got. Mystery Energy, Bronzong, yet again. We've gotten so many Bronzong. I'm fine with that, though. And a Flip Coin and a sweet little Gorgeist here. Um, this guy can have 200 HP if it has uh, Grass Energy attached to it. Another Bronzong. Wow. So many bronze on. I don't even know what's happening. Uh, another team flare, chandelure, and leopard, wobbuffet too. But wobbuffet's not very exciting. <laughs> I mean, it does shut off abilities, but it has to be the active Pokemon. Crobat is up and running, up and running. Um, Lampent, Pumpkaboo, Talon Flame, and some roller skates. Oh man, this is pretty cool. Um, okay, come on, give me a good card. Give me, give me a shiny Gengar. Shiny Mega Gengar. That would be awesome. There's a Pyroar. Levaney. Uh, I don't even know. I don't even know. Ooh, there's a Full Art Florgus. 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 EX. Um, I like these Full Arts. These Full Arts are always awesome. Um, but that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> okay, so. I don't like how the order is all mixed up with these. Like. Sometimes EX is way over here, sometimes it's way over here, sometimes it's in the middle. I don't even know. Jamming net. Very cool. I'll take all the jamming nets I can take because, you know, this, those Team Flare things, you can have four of them in your deck. And that's going to be a lot, a lot of um, messing with your opponent. Especially if you have stuff like, uh, um, I don't even know, stuff that makes your opponent do less. You know, I might have to make, like, one of those decks where it just messes with your opponent. I don't even know. Maybe. Probably. Crobat. Actually, you know, Wobbuffet might be a good combination with Crobat because it'll shut off abilities and it can do a lot of damage depending on how much damage is on the defending Pokemon. So um, Crobat can put that damage on pretty easily. So this attacks, um, yep, another another Head Ringer. Very cool. Uh, Gorgeist. Very nice. I love Gorgeist. Okay. Venonat. Or not Venonat. Venomoth. Zubat. Zubat. Lampent. I think I'm gonna only open a hundred, or maybe, maybe a, maybe, a, I'll, I'll go to, I'll go until I have 75 packs left. I'll open 125 packs here, and that will be good. 
because I'm not getting anything anymore. <laughs> Look at this. I'm getting so many bronze on, it's not even funny. A Gudra, very nice. I, I mean, it's not too great of a card, but it'll do. It'll do. It'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Okay, so we'll do 25 more packs. We got a Heatron, non EX. Pretty cool. There's a Gengar EX yet again. Very nice. So I now have four Gengar EXs. Hopefully we can get a Mega Gengar because I kind of want one of those. A uh, Mega Gengar are definitely what I want because I want to make a, Geng a Mega Gengar deck. I think I have two Mega Gengar? Or maybe I have. You know, I don't even know how many Mega Gengar I have. I should have probably looked, but you know what? Whatever. Doesn't matter. Poochiana. Poochiana. Blissey. And wow, my mic, or not my mic, my mouse is freaking out a little bit here. A lot, a lot of zero sick. I don't even like, I don't even know. That, that guy's not even that good, but you know, he's there. Um, this guy, I don't even know what this guy is, but he's there. He's there. Oh, shoot. Okay. Talonflame. Mist a lot of mystery energies. A lot of special energies that I don't really need. Another Crobat. So many Crobat. Um, yeah, so we're going to open five more packs after this one. And hopefully we can get something cool, but if we can't, that's okay. Uh, that is definitely okay with me. For alligator, Pumpkaboo. And there is a Diggersby. And another Lampent. I'm just getting all the Lampent I need now. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, I opened too many. Um, we'll just go to 70 at the, at then, because I'm just opening them now. Oh man, I, I'm just on an endless rampage of opening things. Okay, so that's gonna be that's gonna be the episode now because now we'll go until we get one more thing, one more ex. You know that's probably a bad idea. I'll go to 50 or until we get another ex. See, this is an addiction. Just opening packs is an addiction. Uh, it seriously probably is because you can't stop once you start, and once you stop, you want to start again. So. Ooh, okay, Lysander, full art Lysander's trump card. That is going to be good enough. We have to end it on a good note here. And there it is, Lysander's trump card. So that's going to be the episode for today. Um, but, you know, I can't really leave it at 62, so we'll keep going. <laughs> Dang it, I have, to, I have to go to 50 now because leaving it at 62 is just, you know, just OCD. Um, a lot of people will get upset with me, including myself. Um, because OCD kicks in and everybody's like, oh no, um, including me. So, I have to go to 50. I have to. I have to. You know, at this rate, why don't we just go all the way? Just kidding. I need to save some packs. Okay, so, that's going to be the episode. We got down to 50. <laughs> um, but that's going to be the episode for today. So, hopefully, um, you are enthralled at opening these packs. Um, let's go into the things we got. Um, Phantom Forces is applied, so this is what we got. We got an Angel Slash EX. This X damage is 20 more damage for each Steel type energy attached to this Pokemon. That's a pretty good attack, um, especially since special energy Pokemon can't attack my Angel Slash. That would be cool. And we got a lot, a lot of Bronzong. <laughs> um, a lot of Chandelure too. This is great. This all the cards I need are here. So I'm probably gonna make a deck. You know, I'm just gonna go into a deck right now. You know why not? I'm going to go into the Night March deck. You know, yeah, why don't I do that? Because we have enough cards now to make the, dark, the Night March deck. And I'll kind of show you what it's about. Um, especially since um, we already have most of the deck list complete. So, here is what the, the deck list is about. So, we got four Lampins in here now, but we have Night March. This deck does 20 damage times the number of Pokemon in your discard pile that have a Night March attack. So... Joltik has a Night March, Lampin has a Night March, and Pumpkaboo has a Night March attack. So basically, we are attacking for um, a lot of damage. So if we have, let's say we have like 8 Pokemon in the discard pile, um, the, might, the Night March is already doing 160 damage, which is crazy. And when we have, here's a strategy that we're going to try to do though. We're going to try to attack with the Mew EX, I'm going to take the Mew 2 out. We're going to try to attack with the Mew EX. And we're going to try to um, attack with Joltik on the bench. We're going to use the, this Night March because it only has two energy to attack instead of three and two co double colorless, or one double colorless and uh, psychic energy. 
which is still three energy. But we have the two here, and combined with Mew's psychic, um, uh, psychic psychicness, we have Dimension Valley, which says um, each attack less is one colorless energy less for for the psychic type Pokemon. So basically, we were attacking for one energy with the Joltik, with the Joltik's attack with Mew. So. That is going to be the strategy. We're going to be doing 180 damage for, like, one energy. And that's going to be the strategy that we're going to try to complete. Um, we do have a lot of battle compressors to get those night marches into the discard pile. So that is the strategy. We have four Skylas in order to get those battle compressors into play. we got a lot of switches. we got a muscle band in here, just for good measure. And we need to probably get rid of one more card here because we did add one more Lampent. Um, I kinda wanna keep the two Mr. Mime because it's kinda nice, you know, if we're going up against like some like a Landorus, the Landorus will knock this guy out in one hit if it's on the bench. So we need the Mr. Mimes as much as possible. We're just gonna take out a switch here because I don't think we're gonna need three that much. So we're gonna save this Night March and I do want to save it. And we're gonna get into a game here because you know, why not? Night March is gonna be pretty cool. So Hopefully, um, this video doesn't go too long. I didn't want to really cram two videos into one like that. But, you know, maybe I'll split it into two parts. Well, probably not, because at this point, um, it's too late. Okay, what am I looking for? Night March. There we go. Night March, it is. So, I, I don't know if this deck is very good or not, because I have only played it once before, and it wasn't even completed before. So, we'll see if it actually is good or not. Okay, so, um, I need to turn my volume off here so it doesn't echo through the, the microphone, but it looks like we get to go first, which is awesome, and we start with two Joltik here, um, which is alright, I mean, it's not the worst thing that could possibly happen, um, especially since, you know, I guess there's nothing really to say about that, but, um, we're gonna, I guess, just start with the Joltik. He does have one retreat cost, but, you know, we'll see if, what we can do. Um, if I can get a Skyla this turn... Um, that would be cool. But this this Evil Tall is actually weak to my Joltik. <clears throat> but this Evil Tall is actually knocking me out in one hit anyways. So I think I'm going to... Um, Skyla for an Ultra Ball, get a Mew. That might be a good idea. Or I could N... I'm going to Skyla for an Ultra Ball. Get, or I could Skyla for a Battle Compressor and then get three in the discard pile already and let this Joltik get knocked out and I'll already have four Night Marches in the discard pile so I'm going to be doing 80 damage um, times two from the weakness so I'm going to be doing 160 damage to this Evil Tall already if I go that route and I think I'm going to go that route but at the same time I need to get a double call this energy and I don't know if I can do that in one turn so I'm just going to go the safe route and Skyla for a I guess that's not too safe of a route, but we're going to Skyla for... Oh, man. Maybe this is a bad idea. We're going to Skyla for an Ultra Ball, get a Mew in play, and see if we can't... You know, maybe I should have just end at that point. I don't even know. I don't even know, but we're going to go for the Mew, and I guess just put a Muscle Band down, and let's call it good. <laughs> oh, man, that was probably not a very good idea. Because my Joltik is going to get knocked out now. And I need a Joltik on the bench. <sighs> so we'll see. We'll see. Um, maybe I can get a Pumpkin Boo in play and a Double Call of this. And then uh, Dimension Valley. But, yeah, he's going to pick one of his prizes here. Because he can just choose one at whatever he wants. Because he has a town map already down in play. So I don't even know. We, I, I don't even know how to play this deck. I probably should have practiced beforehand. But, you know what, I couldn't practice beforehand because that was it. <laughs> okay, so... He's definitely gonna knock out, knock me out right here. Um, he's gonna Lysander, so he's not gonna knock me out. Um, which is fine with me, because I wanted a Joltik on my bench anyways. Um, we're going to Battle Compressor get some cards in our discard pile, get our Lampents in the discard pile, I guess, because they're not, Lampents are of no use, except when they're in the discard pile. So we're just going to get all those Lampents in the discard pile right now, 
And that's going to be a lot more damage here. And then we could Juniper at this point. And I think I'm going to do that just to get more cards. Um, because I can't, I don't really want to end him because he didn't really play a draw support there. Um, but there's a Dimension Valley, so I can attack this turn. And I don't think I'm going to be knocking out his guy here. But, you know what, we can definitely get a big hit off. And do Night March for 100 damage because we have all those um, Lampins and the Joltik in the discard pile. And if he didn't Lysander me out that turn, I could never do that because I wouldn't have a Joltik on the bench to attack like that. Um, but since he did, um, I should probably should have put my Mew down, but I guess it doesn't really matter. I don't think he's going to knock me out this turn anyways. But he's going to end. Yeah, I probably should have put that Mew down, but oh well. Um, he's going to end me, and I have a Joltik in my hand again. There's another Evil Tall on the bench, so he's probably going to start... Um, he doesn't have any <laughs> Darkness Energy in, the, in his discard pile, so he can't even attach a Darkness Energy um, in, order to, to, in order to attack. So he's going to do 30. Um, yeah, he can't attach a Darkness Energy with that attack, because he doesn't have any. Um, but he does have that other Evil Tall powered up. But at this rate, I think I'm looking better off than he is. Um... I kind of want to put the Joltik down on my bench. Um, but I kind of want to get a Mew out as well. I, I'm going to put the Joltik down just so I have a Joltik. Actually, undo last action. I don't even need... Uh, well, I'm in, a battle, I'm in a battle compressor with the Skyla. And then we'll see... Well, I, I guess I'll just keep the Joltik in my hand. I don't know. I just don't want to waste all my Joltik. And have too many Joltik in my discard pile, so I can't get to them. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know. But we're gonna discard three more Night Marches, and we're gonna do a lot. We're gonna knock out these Evil Tells in one hit. Yeah, we don't really need any more Joltik in the discard pile. Um, so I'm just gonna put the Joltik down because he does play a lot of Lysanders. I, I mean, he does play Lysanders, so I don't really want him to knock out. I mean, Lysander my Jol my one Joltik out, and then totally. Um, make me lose. So, I'm going to do this, Night March, and we are going to do 160 damage with the Mew alone. Okay, there's a Pumpkaboo. So, there's a Pump... The Pumpkaboo will actually um, let me attack with a Night March ability too, but I do have to have two energy in that case, um, which is why Joltik is just so much more better. Um, but, we have two Joltik in play... I have a muscle man on my Mew, and he quits. He is donezo with that game. He is no bueno for the Night March. He does not like the Night March. And he will not stand for the parade of the March of the Knights. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. Okay, so, looks like to obey. To, to Obi? To Abby. To Obi. Okay, so it looks like I might not be able to go first here. But maybe we can get a turn one attack off with the Joltik. Um, we do have the Dimension Valley energy and a Skyla in our hand, so maybe we can get that off. We're gonna, we're just gonna put two Mew down because you know the more Mew the better. Put the Sharon. I mean, he's gonna Sharon. Um, looks like we're going up against probably some Blastoise deck. He's gonna put a energy on his Kangaskhan, and there's a double colorless energy. So, um, I could attack this turn. I could call for family with the Mew. I probably will do that, or I could Comet Punch if I put my Double Colorless Energy down, but... Um, I think we're gonna be good with the Call for Family. Um, actually, I could Comet Punch for one energy with the Dimension Valley, which is crazy, I know. But I could do it if I wanted to, but I don't really want to do that. I'd rather Call for Family here in order to get more Joltik on the bench, and... Or I could common punch and flip four heads in a row and totally knock out this Kangaskhan. That would be something. That would be something else. Um, but we're just going to call for family, I think, and put this down, put the Skyla, and we're... Should I Battle Compressor? I think I'm going to Battle Compressor. Um, get some enter, or get some Lampins in the discard pile because we don't want those Lampins. Okay, let me see how many Joltics I have in, in my deck first. I have... All four Joltics, sweet. Okay, that is actually pretty cool. So we're gonna discard four lamp or three lampants here, and we're going to save the Dimension Valley in in case he puts a a card down. Uh, but we're gonna call for family, and we're gonna get 
Joltik, and Mr. Mime. I don't know if I really need Mr. Mime. Um, I might need Mr. Mime, though. Um, I only have two Pump Kaboo. Should I, I, should I put two Joltik down? I think I'm going to put two Joltik down. Um, just for funsies. Because, <laughs> like I said, I don't want one get knocked out and not be able to attack. So I'll just get two of the Joltik out and be cool. So yes, we did use King Skull's Call for Family with our Mew. <laughs> and that is pretty cool. If, you, if, you, if I have to say so myself, that is pretty cool. Okay, so we do have a double colorless energy. We can probably put that up down on the Mew, or we could probably put that on the Joltik, but I, I wouldn't see the real point to put it on the Joltik. Um, I mean, if we we're going up against an evil tall, probably, but we're going to got, we're all going up against like a water deck. I don't know. I don't even know what we're going up against. So hopefully we can do something. But we do have the three lampins in the discard pile already, and hopefully next turn we can get. A Skyla, not a Skyla, uh, another Battle Compressor, so I can get the rest of those guys in the discard pile. And there's another energy. I'm going to put the Dimension Valley down, put the Double Call List down, and we're just going to Juniper. And there is a Keldeo on his side of the field. Um, let's see here. I have one, two, three Pokemon in the discard pile. Um, I could discard this Joltik here in my hand with the Ultra Ball, which is probably what I'm going to have to do because I can't really... I'm going to put the Mr. Mime down too, why not? And then, yeah, I can't really do anything with... I, I, I want to knock out this Kangaskhan right now, and that's probably what I'm going to have to do here. So I'm just going to Ultra Ball here for something. Um, get rid of the... Yeah, we'll get rid of the Professor's Letter here, because it's not really too important at this point. We're going to get a Mew... Yeah, we'll just go for another Mew, put it on the bench, why not? Why not? Just get all these Mews powered up. And then we can finally Night, night March here for 80 plus the Muscle Band for 100 damage and knock out this Kangaskhan. So, that is what we're going to do. We're going to do 100 damage, knock out the Kangaskhan, and now he's left with almost nothing. Um, I mean, he doesn't have any energy in play, uh, but this guy, Craig and all, if he discarded an energy attached to this Pokemon... What does it say? No, oh, he's just gonna call call sign for a water type Pokemon. Get a uh, War Turtle in his hand, but little does he know that I can just use my N and get rid of that War Turtle. So he doesn't have a War Turtle anymore. Turtle. <laughs> War Turtle anymore, Turtle. Okay, and I can Battle Compressor again. Um, get some Night Marches in my discard pile. And we are doing a lot, a lot of damage now. So much damage, in fact, that I think uh, I can knock out the Keldeo in one hit. Uh, probably. Night March. One energy. No, we're only doing 160. So we will have to discard that Joltik in our hand in order to do the 180 damage and knock out the Keldeo. But he's pretty much <laughs> not looking good right now. Uh, he gets to flip three coins for each as he gets to attach an energy. Yeah. Attach an energy to your bench Pokemon. Um, so he's going to go for the Keldeo at this point, and he's going to try to knock out my Mew, I'm guessing. Um, but at this point, I think I'm good where I'm at. I have three Mew in play, I have the Dimension Valley in play. I can just attack... Um, I think I'm just going to try to get this Joltik in, in my discard pile just to make sure that I'm doing the 180 damage. And then we're just going to, uh, I guess, get the Mr. Mime, why not? Um, and then we're just going to knock out this this active Pokemon. What's it called? Man Manaphy? Yeah, Manaphy. That's what I thought it was called. But we're doing 180 damage now. <laughs> and he's going to bring out a Squirtle. Squirtle Squad for the win. Not for the win, for the loss. Okay, so. Um, he's going to start powering up his Squirtle. Get a Blastoise in play? Nope, he's just gonna retreat into the Suicune, and now I can't attack. I didn't see that coming. I did not see that coming. Okay, so I'm gonna have to power up my Joltik now, knock out the Suicune with the Joltik, and that will not actually be too hard to do. All I need is double call this energy on my Joltik, just to knock it out. Just to knock out the Suicune, and it's gonna be easy. <clears throat> as long as I can get a double colorless energy in play. Only play three of those things though, so I'm gonna have to get my computer search. 
I probably should have uh, checked my deck for a double colorless energy first. Uh, but there it is. Uh, I think I only have one left because, yeah, I only have two in this deck. But we're going to power up our Joltik and attack with that Joltik, knock out this Suicune, and totally call it good. So we're doing 160 damage with the little Joltik. Oh man, there's another Pumpkaboo, and he brings out his Kangaskhan. Um, actually, I'm just going to keep attacking with my Joltik, uh, because there's no reason not to, I mean. I have it powered up, it's in the active position, and it's doing 160 damage. 180 damage with the Muscle Man, but I'm not going to do that yet. So, we're taking all our prizes here. All he needs to do is knock out my Joltik, and I can bring out my Mew, do 200 damage to this guy, because my, another Joltik in the discard pile equals 20 plus damage for me, and uh, Muscle Band equals 200. So, that I top deck a Juniper off the one the card in my hand. Top deck. Very nice. Okay. So, this... This Keldeo's going down. He's going to knock out my Joltik. He's going to take a prize. But, I'm going to be doing... One energy, 200 damage. That is crazy. So here he goes, Night March for 200 damage. <laughs> oh man, that is crazy. That is just overpowered to the max. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. I'll just say that I don't even know what to say. That's what I'll say. Okay, so we're going to do one more game here. Um, and hopefully... <laughs> Uh, we can do something, but that was that's crazy 200 damage for one energy. Oh Man Joltik you are crazy. You are definitely crazy Mew Joltik combo crazy one energy attack that is just good. I don't even care what you say that is good all the way around it's Just Mew combined with Dimension Valley. I Mean I'm just thinking about this right now. What kind of combinations is there? Mew combined with Dimension Valley, you could take one colorless energy off any Pokemon. I gotta, I gotta do my research now. Ooh. Even with the Exploud, like, you could take a double, a, a colorless energy off the Exploud's attack, which is a double colorless energy, and you could just, like, totally do 20 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon for one energy. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could just have the double colorless energy in play anyways, but... Just, just think of the potential. I don't. I've never even thought about this before. Um, but it looks like he didn't do anything on his turn. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So we can uh, probably just start trying to do something here. Um, I'm gonna put the double colorless down on my Mew because we could p potentially attack with Furfru's attack if we needed to. We're gonna Dimension Valley. Uh, put that Dimension Valley in play, and then just N. That's probably not a good idea, but at this rate, why not? Um, we're doing so much damage anyways with this Mew. Uh, get some Lampint in our discard pile, maybe some Pumpkaboo if we don't have enough Lampint, but um, say our Lampint's our prize or something. Um, yeah, but there's just like I said, dude, always go for the Lampint first. One of our Lampints is prized, but yeah, go for the Lampints, try to get those discarded, and then... Uh, because they have no real use. You can't put them on their bench. The only use is in the discard pile for them. Um, but anyways, let's see. I could do for how much? I'm only doing 60 damage with the Night March. So I might as well just go for Fur Fruit. Flip a coin if it has discarded energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. It's doing 80, 100 with the Muscle Band. So why not? Um, I could put the Joltik down. I think I'm going to... Um, no, I'm just gonna leave it in my hand. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use Furfru's attack here because we can. We're gonna do 100 damage on the first turn, um, and we're gonna discard an energy, which there is none, so that's fine. And he's just gonna quit uh, because he doesn't want to deal with Mew and the potential that Dimension Valley brings. That is just crazy potential. Dimension. I just attacked for. One double colorless energy and did 100 damage. First turn. First, first turn. That's amazing. I don't even know what, I don't even know. And just think if I had like two battle compressors to start off with and put like six, six night marches in my discard pile. First turn, I mean that's easily, I mean potentially it's easily achievable. Um, 
But it looks like we didn't start with the... We started with the pump move. But anyways. Um, that'd be crazy. It's like 140 damage the first turn. We could potentially even get 180 damage the first turn for one energy. I mean, potentially. I'm not... I mean, that would be really hard to achieve, but there's potential there to achieve that. Um, but uh, that's all I gotta say. It looks like I do get to go first, so that is a benefit in my courtyard. Um, let's see if we can... Ooh, we did draw a Joltik. It looks like we're going up against a Quillfish um, and a Skrelp. So he's probably going to have some sort of Dragelge in there. Um, I think I'm just going to power up my Pumpkaboo and then try to get a Battle Compressor in play. Um... You know, I mean, I uh, this guy's doing put two damage. If this Pokemon is the X Pokemon is damaged by opponent's deck. Oh, so if it's damaged, then I get two damage counters. Okay, so do I really want to power my Pump Gaboo, or should I go for uh, Mew? I could Skyla for an Ultra Ball. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go for a Mew, Ultra Ball. Get the Mew, because there's no point in powering up a Pump a Pump Gaboo. Um, I mean, there is kind of, but not really. I'm going to discard my Mr. Mime, because I can't really see him doing bench damage with this kind of deck. Um, and then power up my Mew. Start powering up my Mew. And we're going to end our turn. And the next turn we can use a Switch. We can use the uh, Professor's Letter to get more energy in play if we want. We can do anything. We could do anything. Okay, he's going to share in here for three more cards. Alright, I guess it's a girl, but I don't even know if it's a girl. Half the girls on this game are not girls. <laughs> uh, but probably is girl. I don't, know. don't Don't ask me. So he does get a Mewtwo in play. So this could be interesting. Um, there's a Toxicroak. So he's going to have the benefits of my Dimension Valley um, now. So he can he could potentially attack for one energy with a Toxicroak, one energy with a Mewtwo. And he's going to power up his Quillfish here. Oh, man. Um... I don't think I want to put a Dimension Valley in play. I think I'm just going to power up my Mew. Um, I might want a Dimension Valley later, but right now, he could power up his Mew too and just knock me out. So I'm going to bring out my Mew N and see what I can get. Oh, man. Okay, there's a Battle Compressor, so I can use that. Um, we're going to use that. I'm going to get some Lampants in the discard pile. Because Lampants are awesome. Good job, Lampants. Good job. And how many Pokemon do I have left? I have a Pumpkaboo, Pumpkaboo. Uh, that's two. Ooh. And I have two Joltik. So I'm not looking good. I have a lot of Pokemon that I can't use. I have, I do have a Pumpkaboo. So I'm doing 80 damage with the Night March right now. Which is knocking off the Quailfish. So I think we should be good to go in that aspect. We're just going to use the Night March here. And knock him out. I mean, it'd be taking 20 damage from the Quailfish because of that ability. But at this rate, I think it's good. So hopefully he doesn't have double colorless energy. Otherwise, uh, that Mewtwo could come out and knock me out in one hit. And I don't want that. So he's going to actually Hypnotoxic Laser me. Oh man, so this is already a more challenging battle than the last ones were. I'm asleep and poisoned now. Um, he's going to Roller Skates for a Heads. And take three cards from his deck. Dang it. This is not going well. Um, he does get an energy on his Toxicroak. There's a Professor's Letter for more energy. I think next turn I'm going to Juniper just to get these Joltics in the discard pile. So I can be doing a lot more damage with my Night March. Um, like I said, I'm doing 80. I could be doing 120 if I get these two in the discard pile. And then... There's another Battle Compressor, so I'm just going to use that. <clears throat> Get the remaining amount of Pokemon, uh, Pumpkaboo and another Pumpkaboo, in my discard pile. Probably just discard the Battle Compressor too, because there's no point in um, having a Battle Compressor when all my Pokemon are gone already. And I'm just going to Juniper and get all my Pokemon in the discard pile. So now I'm doing probably 180 damage, and I need to get a Switch. Um, there's a Dimension Valley... Yeah, I'm going to go for a switch, get rid of the N, and 
and uh, Ultra Ball. And I need to get a switch um, because if I don't, I can't attack. And I want to attack. So, yeah, we're just going to go like that. Um, uh, I can't, I have to put down the Dimension Valley at this point to attack, so I'm just going to do it. And then his Toxicroak can be brought out, but he does have a weakness to my Mew, so hopefully I can do something cool. Um, but we're going to knock out the Skrelp, and how much damage are we doing? We're doing Night March for 320 damage because of the weakness. Okay, yeah, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay, so, he's going to bring out his uh, Toxicroak, probably. Yep. He could have brought out his Mewtwo too and knocked me out. Actually, he would only be doing 80 damage with the Mewtwo with the Dimension Valley. But now he's going to be doing 3 damage counters instead of 1. So he's going to be doing Poison. Ooh, he's going to Lysander out my Pumpkaboo, which I'm kind of fine with at this point. Um, but not really. Um, he's going to Poison me. I have a 2 retreat cost. Shoot. Um, that is kind of a bummer. But I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get an energy. So I'm just gonna Juniper. I need to double call this energy right now. Otherwise, oh, I can't retreat. And I'm going to retreat because I can. Or I can Night March, but then I would just get knocked out. I don't really want that to happen. So I'm just gonna bring out the Mew again. Put another Mew on the bench. And yeah, we're just going to Night March, knock out this Toxicroak for a lot, a lot of damage. And, yeah, let's march for 360 damage because of the weakness. Um, it would be 180, uh, but... Oh well, we have weakness in play, too. Um, so there is the Dimension Valley, Gonzo. So if he doesn't have a double colorless energy, he can't even attack. Um, he's going to try to put me asleep again and poison me. And that Hypnotoxic Laser is highly annoying right now. <laughs> <clears throat> but I don't even have any switches left, so if I don't wake up, he's just going to have a free uh, turn to knock me out. And that's kind of bad. Uh, but there's a Dimension Valley that I can use. Um, but if I do wake up, I just win the game, because I can put the, down the Dimension Valley, attack for one energy. <laughs> 360 damage for one energy, you guys. This deck is crazy. I don't even know how good this... I didn't even know how like potentially good this is, but I'm just winning. I'm just winning. Like... Straight up, just winning. And that's all. So he does put a, an energy down in his Mewtwo. And I stay asleep, so that means he's probably going to get a free knockout on my Mew. I have to end my turn. Um, yeah, he's going to knock me out next turn. I do wake up, but at the same time, that doesn't really matter. I have two Mew on my bench. I have Dimension Valley in my hand. So I am pretty much good to go. I don't even really need the Dimension Valley after after this Mew gets knocked out because this Mew has two energy. I could just Night March anyways for two energy with the Joltik. I don't even need Dimension Valley. Um, but Dimension Valley is just so good. It's just so good. Just so good. But there's another Hypnotoxic Laser. He's <laughs> trying to put me to sleep again. He probably doesn't have any energy to attack, um, but he fails the sleep flip and he's going to call Riss for four. Or she, Dan Pez, whatever. Roller skates. This guy has a lot of roller skates. And <laughs> he keeps slipping heads on him, too. But that's okay. He kind of needs it at this point. He gets a Kangaskhan on his bench. Um, but at this rate, he does get another energy, and he's going to knock out my Mew. Unless he just retreats, which would be kind of dumb. Um, but he's going to get rid of the muscle band. And knock me out for 120. And I'm just, like I said, just going to bring out the Mew. Attack. Win. It's a good game. Because it was a pretty good game. I mean, I don't know. I kind of demolished, but this deck, I'm telling you, Night March is crazy. 320 damage. Oh boy, that is crazy. I, I, I'm not gonna lie. At first, I was getting kind of scared with those Mew twos and the Toxic Croak on the bench, but my Mew just demolished, I guess. So that's gonna be the episode for today, guys. So be sure to like this video if you like it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you like. And I'll see you next episode, guys. Thanks for watching.